It's four past three. I'm not sure what this significantly represents in terms of Australian culture. Neither this one, this one, or the other one, two, three, four, five, seven or so. We are at Crookhaven Heads Lighthouse, but technically not even the lighthouse. The lighthouse is over yonder. My daily vlogs intercepting nicely with my regular vlog. I'm taking Martin. I'm now calling Marty. I'm calling him Martin from now on. I don't know why. I've just decided this all of a sudden this holiday. I've taken Martin and Stacy on a bicycle slash electric skateboard slash powered bike ride around Culborough and I've gone down to Orient Point and I've gone down to Crookhaven Heads Boat Ramp. Now they're just chillaxing over there and I've just noticed these lovely would you even call it a totem pole? I don't know what they are. I don't know the I mean it's it's definitely got a nautical theme to it. There's definitely sea creatures and sea animals. Why we need I, I'm going to stop questioning art and just enjoy art for art's sake. Perhaps Martin and Stacy will know what the art relevance is here. Let's have a look at this one. This is art. Australian art. Let's uh, let's see if they have any idea about this at all. They look kind of knowledgeable. Martin Martin looks smart with his glasses. He's probably a smart guy. I can ask him. Sorry to interrupt. Did you realise I'm having a very smart conversation? Oh, it's just right talking now. about how smart you are. Do you realise? You're that, interrupting. That is a smart man that knew I was talking about his smartness. Smart man. I did hear you coming talking oh, about you? smart. We were, yeah, we were talking about how um, how good the barbecue was the other night. Oh, that was good. Asado and chorizo. Oh, did so you put that into, your, into one of your vlogs? I did. Yeah. I, I haven't edited it yet. Oh, too. Yeah, we were talking about it. I wanted to ask you if you guys know any reason why we have these things here, like these these sea themed totem poles. How would they relate to Australia aside from the sea life? They're probably indigenous. Maybe. They are? Yeah. Are they? I don't know. Indigenous to who? Indigenous. The indigenous. Oh, the indigenous. Yeah, the, the, the Aboriginals maybe. But I, I do know that, that the Aboriginals um, uh, uh, have totems and ceremonies. Uh, I do know that okay. from some work that I, I've done before um, in the museums. Cool. Yeah, and photography. But um, in terms of like totem poles, or as you refer to them as, I don't know if they are significant to indigenous people in that form. Because that's like Easter Island statues, kind of, right? Okay. Do you think? I don't know if they are, but they're wood carvings with fish on them. Like they, 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 because I, I think like the totem poles or, or these these these, these uh, sticks like the, you know in the ground, they are often sites sites of ceremony uh, and, and particularly with the American indigenous. I'm seeing <laughs> I'm seeing where his smartness is taken. Is what he's saying is that this area might be significantly ceremonial. Ceremonial. It, it could be a sacred site, yeah, or, or like a site of some importance. Do you think in years to come there'll be a totem erected right here for our bicycle, skateboard, electric bike mission that we did today? That'll be a significant spot? Well, I think we could plant a tree or something like that. Yeah. Could get away with that. Might not might not be recognised or like seen as or vandalised or anything like that. I'm going to plant myself a tree here today using some kind of... I'm going to remember it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this vlog as a remembrance.